killed, hanged on the cross on Friday. So after his death, he was placed in a tomb. And the enemy thought that was the end of it. But on the third day, he rose again. He was crucified on Friday, buried on Friday, left for dead Saturday. Friday, Saturday, they knew he was dead. But what they didn't know was that on the third day, Jesus Christ will rise again. It's possible that as you are hearing me right now, you might have been crucified something precious in your life has been crucified something valuable to you has been destroyed and your enemies think it is over because they have crucified condemned and destroyed your marriage they have destroyed your finances they've destroyed your son or your daughter they've destroyed your opportunities and they think you've been buried to rot, to be wasted. But what they didn't know, that God is able to work all things, whether good, bad, or ugly, work it out together for our greatest, highest welfare. Job also experienced the same kind of attack of losing his children, losing his estate, losing even his health, losing everything. And the devil thought it was over with Job. But God resurrected and brought back everything that Job lost and gave him double for his trouble. Now the mystery is, which I want you to understand, is that they place Jesus Christ in a tomb. Left to rot, to die, perish. But what they saw as a tomb, God turned the tomb into a womb. God turned the tomb to a womb. And therefore, when they thought they were burying Jesus in the tomb, God translated it into planting Jesus Christ in a womb and if you understand when the seed of a man is planted in the womb of a woman it brings about a child so when the enemy thought he was burying you but God turned it around to make it planting when you plant a seed in the ground Though it may look like it's dying, but it will sprout up again. So when the devil thought he was putting Jesus in the womb, in the tomb, God turned the tomb to a womb. And it was a place, a womb is a place of bringing seeds to life. So some of the situations you are going through, even though your enemies might think or are thinking that you are being buried what they didn't know that they were planting you and the very feet they dug to bury you they were planting you and god is turning your tomb into a womb to germinate and to sprout up and that's why the bible says oh my enemies do not laugh at me for when i fall I'll rise up again. When I fall, I'll rise again. I came to tell somebody that the tomb that your enemies thought they buried you, the Lord has turned the tomb into a womb. And even though they were burying you for distraction, burying you for this, um, condemnation, God was planting you as a seed in the womb. And the womb is where a child is prepared a child is harnessed a child grows 
nourished so that on the ninth day, ninth month, they will come out. For Jesus Christ, he was in the womb for only two days. Friday buried, Saturday, and Friday, on Sunday, he resurrected. I came to tell somebody, and I prophesied to somebody, whatever the enemy has touched in your life, has tempered with your life, has destroyed in your life, it is not over. For the tomb has been turned into a womb. The burial has been turned into planting. Amen. And you will sprout up again. Amen. When you fell, you were not falling to fail. You fell like a seed. And when a seed falls, it rises up again as a tree. When a seed falls, it what rises up again. But this time not as a seed, but as a tree. Somebody, no matter the struggle, the challenges, the betrayal, the hurt, the pain, the struggle, the challenges you are going through, God is preparing you for a major comeback. God is turning your tomb into a womb, the burial into planting. And you falling as a seed, you are going to rise up as a mighty tree that will sprout up and bear much fruit. Greater is in store for you. It's never over. It's never too late. God is working behind the scene. The devil thought he had killed Jesus. The devil thought he had won victory over Jesus. But what he didn't know, that God was preparing Jesus in the womb to bring him back out, resurrected as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Almighty Christ. So don't give up. There is hope for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus came to die for us. To give us a hope. That it doesn't matter what we are going through. God is able to turn things around. The Bible says all things. Whether good, bad or ugly. Are working together for our good. In the name of Jesus. Lord, 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 in captain, even in the grave. Even in the grave, even in the grave, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Father, we salute you. Thank you, Lord. Even in the grave, even in the grave, even in the grave. Jesus, the tomb is turned into a womb. And even though your enemies thought they were burying you, God turned it into planting. And you fell as a seed which will sprout up again. There is hope for your future. There is hope for your tomorrow. Amen. You will bounce back. Amen. You will arise and shine for your light is calm. You can never be defeated. Amen. You can never be destroyed. You are unkillable. You are indestructible. God is on your side. Victory is on your side. Miracle is on your side. Testimony is on your side. You serve a living God. If Jesus died and rose again, you will definitely rise again. You will definitely shine again. You will bounce back. You will fulfill your dreams. No matter how many times you are filled, you will bounce back. Take the same exams. Take the same test and pass in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how many resistance, oppositions, restrictions, what hindrances you have experienced. God is giving you a comeback spirit that will break through and penetrate over every resistance in the name of Jesus. This is the resurrection power of Christ Jesus at work in the life of believers. That it doesn't matter how the enemy tries to bury us. We are not buried, we are planted. And when we fall, we rise again. I came to prophesy to somebody. You shall rise again. I want you to prophesy. 
I will, I will rise again. I will rise again. I will rise again. Oh, my enemies, oh, my enemies. do not rejoice over me. Do not rejoice for, over when me. I fall, for when I fall, I will rise again. I will, rise again. I will bounce back. I will bounce back. I will bounce back. I will bounce back. In the name of Jesus. I will bounce back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will bounce back. You will arise. You will shine. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.